Kiki. Milk monster. <laughs> You've been good to me. Hello. <clears throat> Hello everybody. Long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Lagos. Lagos or Lagos? Lagos. Lagos. So today is uh, Sunday, July 22nd, and I haven't uploaded a video at this point for nine days, and I sincerely apologize for that. But Dan and I have just been chilling. We've been truly vacating and, you know, gearing up to, to make some travel guide videos, and I'm super excited to show you guys that. And it's been a long time since I filmed the video, and so I thought that I would get ready for date night right now. Dan and I are going on a little date night in Lagos, and I figured I'd get ready with you guys, showing you the makeup I packed with me on this little vacay, and then also give you guys a little update on the goings on. I brought the MAC Face and Body and the Glossier Skin Tint. I've been mixing these two together, but using the Tarte Tarte Guard, because this one has SPF. I've been using this on beach days, but then like if I'm getting ready for at night kind of thing, I've been doing my usual mixture of these two. I almost forgot. My L'Oreal Lumique Lotion. How dare I? Shade 902. Oh no. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that. I've actually not been putting it on my entire face. I've just been putting it like on the cheeks. This kind of area on the face. So basically what happened? Dan and I embarked on this Portugal journey. And our original plan was to do a little road trip. We were gonna hit all the spots in Portugal and we were just gonna, we were gonna do a wild adventure of just seeing everything there is to see in Portugal. And then we got here and we realized that we just wanted to friggin' chill. <laughs> it's been so nice just actually having a proper vacation, just like getting up, going to the beach, napping, like really shutting off. It's been so awesome. And Dan had previously traveled to Lagos and he loves it here i love it here it's such a nice chill like beach town and we extended our trip and what actually ended up happening well basically we planned on being in portugal for a month we gave ourselves like maximum month to see the entire country of portugal and then i ended up getting an opportunity with nars in ibiza 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 in the second week of august so basically we were going to be here for the month and then i was going to fly home for a week and come right back to this Nars Chindig and I was like, well, there's no point in that. Let's just stay. So now we have this entire extra like 10 days to play around with. And so that's kind of when we decided that we wanted to just relax a little bit more. It's like, well, we're gonna be gone for a month and a half. Let's just chill, let's chill and let's not put any pressure on like hopping around and seeing every city in Portugal. Like we can always come back. Portugal's a place I definitely wanna return to, so. So basically what I'm trying to say is we've now added Spain to the list. So Vanessa, sweet Vanessa, you guys know, manager Vanessa, she is um, coming in a couple of days in She's coming in a week. She's here in a week. And she's gonna be joining us and we're gonna do a little Spanish, like mini Spanish um, tour. We're not sure what we're doing yet. Definitely Barcelona. We're going to Barcelona and we'll see what we do from there. But we're gonna now be in Spain and Ibiza for the beginning of August and I won't be home until August 13th. So that kind of um, altered our plans, our entire Portugal plan. So now we're just chilling and basically I had pre-filmed a couple of videos and they sucked. I didn't want to post them for you guys because they were super hella boring. Figured I'd just take a full week off, gather my thoughts, relax, try to be re-inspired and come back at you guys with some new content. So here we are, riveting newness. <laughs> I would just like to know that this is the first time in my life that I've had a real true tan. My face is actually more pale than my body right now. Are you guys witnessing this? I'm about to go ham on bronzer. Nothing new to see here. That was the RMS Uncover Up Concealer PS. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I'm gonna contour and bronze with this. Doing a little powder bronzer. I'm not headed to the beach, so I'm allowed to use a powder bronzer. And I wanna really warm up the face and try to, try to match my ball day. And I'm really excited for the videos that are gonna come to you guys. I'm also relaunching my website and I'm gonna be putting actual written travel guide notes on there for everywhere that we've been. We're doing them for Lisbon, we're doing for one for Lagos, wherever we go out there yonder. I'm actually gonna be making blog posts and for those of you who have been asking what we've been doing, where we've been eating, where we've been staying and like links to Airbnb, I'm gonna be putting that all into those blog posts. So stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna be filming like travel guide videos like talking like this to go along with those so that you have multiple avenues to see the things that we have been up to. So anyway, Lila B, bronzing duo here. She is a gorgeous shimmery bronzer. 
Oh, right. Thank you. That was it. This is something I, I didn't quite realize until now, but it's something that I have now realized and I wanted to tell you guys. Apparently anyone who has Airbnb therefore also has a shareable link. And if you guys have never booked with Airbnb and you book an Airbnb through my link, you get $45 off your first stay, your first trip. And that gives me $25 off my next day. Not an affiliate with Airbnb. I'm not sponsored by Airbnb. That is something that everyone has access to, but I just thought I'd let you know if you're looking to book Airbnbs and I'm gonna link the Airbnbs that we've stayed at thus far on the trip. Um, yeah, you can save some moolah. Oh my god, I just realized I put this on. I didn't mean to put Becca Opal on, but I did. So now we're we're here. We are here, and this is life. But I also wanted to mention, I posted this on my Instagram stories about a week ago. <laughs> about a week ago. And before I left on this trip, I actually ordered this Sephora Summer Favorites box. You know how they always come with these, like, compiled little boxes? of miniature travel size things. Well, they have one for summer favorites and it has like a bunch of bronzers and highlighters. And this one came with the mini hourglass banner stick highlighter and champagne flash. And this thing is so pigmented and potent. I'm just gonna try putting it on on top. Like, can you guys see how intense that is? And it's the cutest little travel size stick. It came with a mini Tarte bronzer. It came with a mini Hoola bronzer and then the Milk Makeup Lit, it's lit. highlighter stick. So. It's awesome, and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for travel size products. An update on the summer blush. I packed NARS Luster with me, and it has been the most, oh, I love it so much. It's such a beautiful blush. I can't believe I've never had this in my life and collection before, because it's, it's not a new blush from NARS. It's just the perfect peachy summery blush. It's been going with everything, not that I've been wearing like any eyeshadow really or anything, but it's just such a pretty flush of color on the cheeks and I'm so thrilled with it. It's so pretty. Nars Luster updated. I'm gonna use some eyeshadow. Apocalypse. Mm, okay, so I brought this Dior Backstage Eye Palette in the shade 001 Warm Neutrals. And I'm literally just taking these three shades and rubbing them onto my eye. Glossier Blonde Boy Brow in all its glory. Ooh, 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 ooh. It sets in the brows, adds a little fibers too, making your brows look a little bit more thick with three C's. Now for my shker ha. I've been using the Tarte Lifted when I go to La Beach, but it's kind of slightly starting to run out, which is sad, but I really like the way this one separates the lashes. So I've been putting just a little layer of this on to kind of get that shape. And then, and then, are you even surprised? I'm gonna take my Lanco Monsieur Big mascara. I'm going to layer this on top for the utmost voluminousness in them lashes. <laughs> wow, look at what I did <sighs> when I sharpened this. My Makeup Forever 5C pencil. It looks like the mountain from the Grinch. Anyway, I, pa oh. I packed the 5C liner and the 3C and the nude I've been wearing and I feel like the most people have been asking about it is the Glossier Kate lipstick, Generation G, because this is just the nicest formula in hot weather. It, it's like you just don't feel anything on the lips. It fades really nicely. It's the nicest nude. And that's it, folks. That's it for the makeup. Let's deal with this hair and get dressed, and then we'll be date night complete. <laughs> Hair's done, outfit's on. I'm ready to rock. Actually, just kidding. Hold the phone. This is a very low cut, nips free shirt. So I'm gonna take my bronzer, the Lila B Duo, and you just gotta just get right into them chesticles. Pro tip. <laughs> Bronze everywhere. Okay, now we're ready. This is the outfit. These are some shorts from Aritzia by Babaton. And then this is the shirt. It's actually super long from Zara. I just tied it up. And then on the feet, these are Aldo. They're super comfortable. I really like them. And that, my friends, is the final date night makeup look and outfit. I hope that you guys enjoy this little vid. It was kind of like, you know, a normal chatty life update kind of trip update and a, you know, summer vacay date night makeup look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Sorry for my absence. It won't happen again, I promise. I guess I can't really promise that. You never know. Life happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!